The Computer Center for Visually Impaired People at Baruch College, City University of New York, product demonstration. Hi, it's Gus Chalkius again with the Computer Center for Visually Impaired People, and today I'm sitting here with Karen Gorgi, who is the executive director of our Computer Center. Hi, Karen. Hey, Gus. How are you doing? Good. And today we're going to be looking at a humanware product called the Braille Note Apex. And um, I wish I could just call it a note taker, but from what Karen describes to me, it's got a lot more features than just that. So I'm gonna just, uh, mm. Karen, will you take over and you tell us what it does. I'll tell you some of the things it does. Right. And it does so many things that, uh, that you know, one needs quite a little bit of time to learn all of them. Right. In any case, um, the Braille note is, uh, we call it an accessible PDA, really. Mm -hmm. um, accessible Blackberry, any, any word you wanna use. And various generations of this product have been around, boy, I'll get the year wrong, but certainly since the 90s. Mm. Um, and they've, they've just been getting uh, more and more interesting as time has gone along. And it, so it does have, this is a, it has a braille display, 32 character braille display. Mm. And uh, it also has speech, which I will show it to you um, shortly. Um, but just for a description of it for everybody, just in terms of its size, its uh, length I, it, from the uh, I'm, I have it in front of me right now. It's a rectangular uh, device, and I'd say that the, from left to right on the front, maybe it is uh, eight inches. Mm -hmm. And going, um, you can see I didn't check this in the manual, you guys, but mm -hmm. you know. Um, and going from the uh, bottom of it, the part closest to me, to the part um, farthest away from me, so the width of it, it is probably like three and a half, three to four inches. Mm -hmm. And then um, the depth of it from the table to, uh, to the top of it where the keys and things are, it's, it's less than an inch. It's maybe barely an inch or three quarters of an inch. So one of the things that really knocked my socks off actually about this little thing is that I can actually fit it in a purse. Not in a teeny purse, but in a sports sack or um, easily in a briefcase, but often in a purse too. And that's something with a braille display and having the power that this does, um, that's a pretty unusual thing. It's so, pretty lightweight too. Yes, it's mm -hmm. quite lightweight. Yeah. I am picking it up here. I don't know, three pounds, maybe. I don't know. I thought it was less than that. Well, it might. It could yeah. very well be, mm -hmm. and um, it's certainly no more. Yeah, it's certainly no it's more. Nice. So I don't want to, but I don't think anybody's going to certainly break their back with this. No, it's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to. Let me describe it further a little bit. Retina now, not just its size, but. Um, some of the features that just from uh, looking at the machine that it has, it's got a, a, a microphone or an earphone jack, um, both of those, so I mean earphone or speaker and microphone. It's got three USB host ports. Wow. It's got an ethernet port, so you can use it um, for the uh, internet for that kind of a connection. Mm -hmm. It has Wi-Fi, it has a USB host port. So if you wanted to make a USB connection with your computer, that's also doable. Wow. Um, it has an SD card slot. It has eight gig of uh, flash memory. So you can fit quite a lot of stuff on that. Mm -hmm. um, now I think, and it uses, it uses a, um, a uh, it has also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth just so you know. Wow. Um, so I think what maybe now what we should do is turn this on. Mm -hmm. So I have a, 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 a file open here. I have a document open. Um, it's a wonderful document. It's one sentence long. And it says, um, this is a demo of the Braille note, which I just wrote. My, you know, in preparation for this event. Um, and what I wanted to show a little bit was that, first of all, um, as I mentioned, this is a 32 character braille display, so I'm writing easily in grade two braille. Um, and one of the very neat things, I think, about uh, the, the way the braille note is set up is that um, on, above each of these cells, 
where the like this is a cell which is and it says this a cell means that you could you could um, create any braille character that you wanted to so you have this space i s space a space and we're going along like that demo of the braille space note period all right so suppose I don't like the period. I'm, I think I've decided I want to extend the sentence. Well, above each of these positions or cells, or, and now they're characters because I've written something in them, um, is what they call what we call a touch cursor. So I'm at the period right now, and I'm going to just press this, and it puts me. Um, it shows me that it puts an extra dot, and it shows me that I'm, that's where I am. I'm above the, I'm right at the period. I don't like this anymore. So I'm going to press D with spacebar, and, and that's for delete. And then I have choices, and I know that if I just press C, it will delete the character. So the period is now not there anymore, and there's a little cursor mark, a little, looks like a little dash, to tell me where I am. So now I can make space. And I can write that we are doing for the CCVIP demo center. And now I can go back to the top and I can put my speech back on. Speech on. So now, if you want, we could just read this. This is a demo of the Braille mode that we are doing for the Drip demo center. Fair. End of document. End of document, right. Okay, so that's just a very quick um, introduction to the uh, word processor, and I do love these little um, cursors because they make it so quick that you know if you if you realize as you're going along you've made a typo or something, you can just come quick, delete it, fix it, keep so going. As it's reading, Karen, mm -hmm. the spoken word as it's reading, does that um, does the display keep pace with that speech? Well, let me just get up back to the top. top. Of documents. See, um, yes. I'm just curious. I'm going all. to tell yeah. you right now what happens. This is a demo of the Braille mode that we are doing for the Grip Demo Center. Actually, the um, I have to move the um, the Braille display along, and ah. um, there are keys um, on the just underneath where the uh, keyboard is, Perfect. and underneath the display. I'm going to turn it um, up so that viewers can see this. There are four little um, thumb keys. Mm -hmm. Let me get my fingers away so you can see one, two, three, four. And these are the keys that allow that allow you to move the display mm -hmm. as you're going along. So what we had just written, what I had just written, um, <coughs> you know, I just did a a little a little control mm -hmm. for braille users it's one two three and space bar or they call it one two three chord and it gets you up to the top and um, now I can have it I can give a speech command to have it read the whole thing document to open press enter for new oh I exit. did a bad thing okay. keyword okay. menu okay. well Folder we'll come name. right back press document to open press enter for demo of got it top of document okay this right so um this is a demo of the Braille mode that we are doing for the Grip Demo Center. And, and End of document. Right, and it can only, actually after it finished, then the Braille display, I didn't touch it, and the Braille display did move. Okay. But if you want it to, you can also independently move it yourself. Gotcha. When you use these thumb keys to do that, um, you know, to move it up or back, whichever, however, whichever way you mm -hmm. want to do that. Very cool. Um, so that's a that's a kind of a cool thing. Um, it also has Land. stop that. It it has a scroll wheel also, which I don't use as much because I'm uh, less used to it. But it's for it's for doing similar things to move the display around and um, you know to allow you to accomplish other other kinds of things when you mm -hmm. want to do it. The CCVIP demos are funded in part by the Aileen Royce Memorial Trust. New York Community Trust, and Reader's Digest Partners for Sight Foundation. Visit us at www.baruch.cuny.edu slash ccvip.